Um, hi. Uh, I don't know. I can't even, uh, I don't even know what to say. Um, I'm just happy that we're alive. There's, um, uh, we're all just sort of, uh, there's no, there's no, uh, power, there's no service, there's no phones. Um, uh, uh, it's, it's like a scene out of some end of the world movie um, and there's, there's no exaggeration there I don't even know how words can't describe it um, the boardwalk is gone the um, in the neighborhood um, my friends are without homes there's a piece of the boardwalk in my front my front stoop is now a piece of the boardwalk um, there are cars piled on top of cars piled under boardwalk people have died a hundred houses set on fire and are gone um, it, it's a sand, my block is no, I can't see my block, we're walking in piles of sand and garbage and furniture, but, but we're okay, um, we're just making fires at night in the street and cooking communally and trying to stay together and be safe and keep the block safe and that's it, um, I don't think people understand exactly what happened in our neighborhood, um, and we want people to know because we want people to come and help. Project. Everyone here in Rockaway has been donating stuff. Um, all the families have been affected by the by the hurricane, so people have lost their houses in the fires. People have lost their houses on the seafront. Uh, you know, we put a post out on Facebook a couple of days ago. People just started dropping off food and water, and uh, you know, other supplies, and the word has spread. And since 10 o'clock yesterday, you know, we've had maybe a thousand or more donations of food, supplies, and it, you know, and it just keeps coming. And it's it's just amazing the amount of people that have come from as far as Vermont, from, from California, from San Diego, you know, I've sent stuff here and it's, it's unbelievable. One is putting in a helping hand and uh, that's all we're doing for now. Okay, thank you. So in terms of just, this is the one location that you guys are here in the Rockaways? Correct. Well, in the Rockaways, we're helping out at other parishes like St. Mary's, Star of the Sea in Far Rockaway, St. Gertrude's, but for now, we're here in St. Francis itself. I'm a senior John Brown of the Pastor St. Francis de Sales. Uh, we have a clothing and food distribution center here for the help the people with the hurricane. It was started by the young people in the neighborhood. Uh, it was their initiative. We have plenty of clothes. We have plenty of food now. Uh, we're helping each other out as much as possible. Everybody in need is invited. And if anybody wants to volunteer to help, we're also taking volunteers. So, okay. But we need food, batteries, winter things would be helpful. So anybody that can help, we want to come and just sort things out and help move things around. And I will uh, be happy to uh, have you. seven and a half feet of water in our basement and we have nowhere to go. Where are we gonna go? You know what I mean? We don't have anywhere to go. So we have to ride it through. We're living in an abandoned house right now. You know, just trying to make it through. We come up here every day to eat. Both our jobs are underwater, so we both don't have jobs now. It's tough, you know? It's tough. Up My name's Katrina. 
I'm Ken and I'm volunteering because my dad grew up here and, we, and my uncle's a chef and he made all this food and we were just helping serve it. We transported it from New York. Navulous. And we're all volunteer girl from Douglaston. I know some people are here helping since, uh, you know, over a week ago. Every day with my piling, they come, they take, and we pile some more. Yeah, it's gross. So tired. Yeah. So I've been calling myself a community organizer because I approach people. We're trying to help coordinate a little bit of the volunteer work that's happening here in the city, like with Occupy and what you guys are doing. And they'll be like, well, well, who are you? What are you doing? Who are you guys with? And for a while I was saying, well, I'm from, from St. Francis, and I've just noticed that there's been this lack of communication between a, a number of different volunteer organizations. And there's, I don't know, I mean, how many do we have now? Probably 25 to 30 separate volunteer entities here on the Rockaways right now. And it's just not clear how they're talking to one another. And it's really important to know that that the community, one, knows about that, these assets, but two, that they're working with one another. So, so when I would approach people, I'd say, well, this is what I'm doing. I'd be like, well, uh, yeah, but who are you? Hi, I'm James McDonald. I've been with Northern Manhattan. I came down to help, help my fellow New Yorkers. I'm from College Point, Queens. Helping out. My name's Niana Bodycomb, and I'm coordinating volunteers and donations. We're at Rockaway Taco Veggie Island on 96th and Rockaway Beach Boulevard. So my name is Joseph Johnson. I live in Howard Beach. Uh, I got two kids, uh, a four-year-old old Ashley and a 12-year-old Alyssa. I'm from Duracell. My name's Josh. And uh, we're, we're honored to be down here. My name is Frank Engel from 2nd Squadron, uh, 101st Cav, New York Army National Guard. I'm Kat Graham, I'm with Humanity Road. Right now we're the command center for St. Francis de Salle Church and School. Everything that you see is a sort of a ground root effort by young people first. Uh, at first I thought we were coming in to provide communications for the public, but when we got here we realized that the command center didn't have any power or communications here. Uh, so this is really a Christian, starting off the Christian Catholic Church effort, and it was basically by the people. They had no power, no electricity, the, the, the telephone uh, communications are out. Um, we're right now operating on battery lights from goal zero. <laughs> Garbage bags, shovels, cleanup yeah. stuff, um, house cleaning stuff, things like that. I noticed. You know, it's working. A lot of people are getting. I mean, just look around. All the generosity that's here. It's unbelievable. A lot of people are giving back. Explain to my yeah. wife. This is the this is the human thing to do. It could have been us in the disaster, and these are the people who need the help. Almost drowned, but I didn't drown. I thank the Lord for giving me strength and thanks for the food down here for these thanks great for people. Everything that we got. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really it's really good. But you just have to survive. I've been driving. Uh, back and forth, up and down the Rockaways, going from one volunteer group to another, and also just assessing who's out there. And I've been impressed by quite a number of things. The just sheer outpouring of people. That, that there are so many people who are willing to help each other. This is kind of like the best of New York, and, and the city and the government too. I mean, that they're, you know, that the government is everywhere. The government you know, when it's at its best, really cares for its community. And, and that's what I love, is when we can take care of each other in a, in a thoughtful and engaging way. I'm just gonna rebuild. That's it. It's tough. You gotta be strong to get through something like this. You know? 